back here on the canal today with Fred. He's currently stood on the platform watching watching my rods. He's a good lad. So it's six o'clock in the afternoon or evening. And he just got here. Hoping for some tench. It's gonna be part one because I'm gonna be fishing this peg tomorrow morning quite early as well. That's the plan. It's very clear today, a lot clearer than the last time I was here. Maybe a little bit concerned about how clear it is. But I am fishing the far bank, so I shouldn't be spooking anything from here. Be nice to get a couple on the bank today. It's beautiful weather, obviously, today. It's been lovely. I've had my boy all day today, so he's uh, gone back to his mum's. So now it's a nice time in the evening to try and come and catch some of these tents, possibly rud and maybe some bream. See how it goes. So I've changed tactics again with the float. I'm fishing the lift method today. I haven't done it for a while, so it might be a bit rusty on that, but it looks like it's sitting all right at the minute. And on my feeder rod, I've taken off my cage feeder and the swim feeder. I've just got quite a light lead on, and uh, I've put some liquidized bread out there and catapults and maggots. I've done that in both my spots that I'm fishing. So certainly done well, or it worked the last time I was sat in this uh, this swim. So yeah, come on, come on, fish. Let's have you. First tench of the day, absolute peach on the float, beautiful. Four pound nine, that one. had my first tench I think I've only been here what well, well it says an hour but it feels less than that lovely tench lovely fight lots of weed in there I was a bit worried about how clear it was but um, certainly it's not affecting it over there at the minute just fired out some more maggots to reboost the swim I was just doing something and I looked up and my float wasn't there so I just picked the rod up and uh, yeah he was on the end lovely 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 tench 
press for many, I hope. So I'm just starting to get some bubbles and a few little fizzes in both my swims now. So I can only say it'll only be time for number two. It's looking very promising. Number two, only a smallish one. Welcome, all the same. So that's two tench now and a perch. I've just had to reel in my feeder rod because the, the swans have come back and the big one's putting his head down where I've been baiting up, so the last thing I want to do is have one of those on the end of the line. Hopefully they'll clear off in a minute because there's uh, fish showing everywhere now. Well not everywhere but certainly where I've been baiting up. This one's right on it now. Well, it's half past eight. Sun's nearly gone down behind the hill. It's a lovely evening, it's really still. Loads of fish activity. I can't believe I've not had a touch on the feeder rod. They've been blowing all, all around my bait. I'm not sure what's going on really. I thought I might have had a take on that one. I've got my old faithful rig on. That I seem to be doing you know, I've caught quite a few on that one. Well, not necessarily that rig, but one exactly the same. It's all fresh with a new hook. But don't know what's going on with that one today. It's just it's just not happening with the feeder rod. I've switched back. I have got a maggot feeder back on there. Loads of bubbles coming up everywhere around, around my two spots. I'm sure it's going to happen again in, very soon. Fred's still doing what he does best, keeping an eye on things. See the sun's almost gone. It's lovely, lovely spot to sit for an evening. It's nice and peaceful. Let's hope for another fish. So I was just saying that my feeder rod hadn't gone off and then all of a sudden nice little boy lovely He's a little one, but he's going mental. Okay. You want a sweet corn? No, maggots. Yeah. 
Matt was having a wheeze on this week on the other night. Was he? Yeah, I seen John the other Friday night. I, I might. He was just on sweet corn. I might use the feeder on sweet corn tomorrow. Yeah. Hello, Fred. Hello. Hey. Small. Tench number five. Yeah. So as I'm showing you this fish, I've got a pretty hammered Nathan on my phone talking to me. He's had a few beers tonight. He obviously can't take it. Say hello to the camera, Nath. Bonjour. Right, it's getting back in, Freddy. Go. Number six. Another little male. I think it's about ten to ten now. So I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Still getting bites. Let's get this one back. I know Fred. So that's tench number six. I think I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. Six is my record, so it'd be nice to get seven. And getting a few touches on the feeder rod soon. I'm gonna to have to check it because it was uh, twitching a fair bit while I was playing that fish. So any luck, we'll have number seven on the bank. Still looking for that five pound five pound tench haven't had it yet i think my biggest tonight has been four pound nine but a few around well they're all averaging like three to four pound just be nice to get just something a little bit bigger but fingers crossed fred's still loving it loads of insects flying around now so yeah i'm gonna give it a little bit longer i'm sure they're still feeding obviously i can't see what the water's doing out there but I think we're good for another so I've had most of my fish on red maggot again on the float on the lift method I've only had the one today on the feeder rod um, I've again I've taken off the feeder and I've just put a really really light lead on so I'm just and it's got a little hook link with with a size uh, 14 hook loaded up with maggots one artificial one there's no hair rig this time so fire some more maggots out and we'll see if we can get number seven I've got a little night light on my float so obviously I can see it be nice to get one more Bats are flying around now. Tent number seven. Oh, beaut. Another male. No. Oh. Cool. Well, I'm back on my spot this morning after a little sleep in the car. It's now half past four. Got the rods set back up. Not got a bait in the water just yet. Just been feeding the swim up. Fred's back on his perch. He's had a good sleep as well. So we're going to try and catch some more tench at this time in the morning. I'm going to fish in the morning, it's late morning. Let's see how we get on, eh Fred? Hopefully some more tench. So I had seven yesterday. Let's see if we can add to the tally.
Well, that didn't take very long. First cast, probably five minutes of being here. Nice little tench. A little boy on the float with a, uh, on the maggots. Good start to the day. The beaut on the float again. <coughs> Lovely. That's two tents straight away after the first probably. 15 minutes of fishing. Had a nice female and a nice male. The, the female was slightly bigger. The birds are absolutely chirping their heads off at the minute. They're all starting to wake up. It's going to be a glorious day. It's a nice horizon at the minute with the sun. I can see, can't see the sun, but it won't be long. The lights just get increasing with every minute. So soon be able to pack away the head torch. That's all good. Pleased with this. So you can see this little skimmer. Number three this morning on the float rod again. Fred's rather excited. So that's my third cast, my third fish. It's going really well. So I've been fishing for an hour now this morning. I've had three tench so far and a bream. It's looking lovely here today. So I've caught on both rods. I've gone for sweet corn on the on the ledger rod. I'm still using my maggots on the float rod, which is the old lift method. Loads of little small fry jumping out. Guessing the perch might be a little bit active, or it could be the tents coming into the swim again and kicking all the little ones out. So far, so good. So that's one on every cast on the float so far, which is quite impressive. So it don't slow down just yet. It's looking lovely here this morning. The sun's coming up. Mist coming up off the water. My float's just out there. Yeah, looking lovely. Fred's still keeping the old eye on the rod. He's doing a good job. So yeah, try.
Another little tench. It's <laughs> number four. Fourth cast, fourth fish. Doing all right today. Little perch. Don't want that one, do we, Fred? It's number five this morning. <laughs> On the float again. Beautiful. Well, the sun's coming up now. Or should I say it's up? It's still looking rather lovely out here. Swans are back. Well, I'm half tempted to maybe move further down. I know there's uh, several trees on either side of the bank probably 100 200 meters down wondering whether the the sun will be off the water down there maybe the tent should move down to some not so bright conditions it's probably worth a go i might give it half an hour here and then uh think about maybe moving for the last bit of the day. So I have decided to move, moved further down in amongst all the trees. Seems to be a better light here. Not fished this swim before. I know uh, Lyndon was in this one last time I met him and the guy previous before that I saw a chap fishing this swim and he had quite a few tench out I think Lyndon had one or two as well I got away from the bright conditions and uh, see how this goes now So this spot's slightly deeper as well, which could be a good thing. Not a lot in it. Maybe about eight inches deeper than what I was fishing earlier. So I've just got my float rod out. Time for some liquidized bread balls out there. See if we can get something going here. I'm getting bites now, I've had a few parrots, just had a nice little roach. This is something on the float rod.
tench number six today, this morning. Obviously the moves worked. Didn't expect another tench, but yeah, that one belted off. That was on the float again. What a beaut. Oh, well, that was a nice surprise. I didn't expect to see another tench today, but I obviously moved down here thinking that it might be a bit better for it. I've just been on the phone again to Nathan. He's recovered from his little session last night. And uh, I was just talking to him and I could just see all these really, really fine bubbles coming up around my float. And um, off it went, hell of a fight. Took me, took me quite a bit around. Yeah, it's nice. You never know. Might get another one. So that's yeah, six six today. Seven last night. Becoming a nice little session. Well, the wind's picked up quite a bit. It's a bit of a ripple on the water now. Float staying still. You can see it's coming down here. Not had any touches on the uh, feeder rod in this spot. Red's still doing his job as always. But yeah, the wind is um, certainly trundling through. It looks worse where I was earlier on, so two good reasons to move by the looks of things. A little bit annoyed with myself. I've lost two really good fish now. Taking line like none of the other ones that I've had, and I've just had one snap up as well, which doesn't normally happen to me. It's gutted, so bait's back out there, fresh up, go again. We've also got one of our chuckle brothers turned up, he's just got his seat because he likes to watch professional. That's the one. <laughs> I think it's Matt that's been giving me the bad luck since he's been here. I haven't caught one since you've been here apart from a few perch. So that's my session come to an end. Six tench today, seven yesterday calling it a day now I've had a pretty good time Fred's enjoying himself one of the reasons I'm going I think because the boy needs a rest Matt looks pretty tired as well <laughs> Matt will be out on the bank later on so we'll get a report from him hopefully bagging up oh my god <laughs> you think he's going for the canoeist yeah got um the swan's not happy with a canoeist coming down Oh well, see you all next time. <laughs>